हृदय को मोह कर हम सब के तुम चले गए अंबर के पार हृदय को मोह कर हम सब के तुम चले गए अंबर के पार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका देव रूहानी प्यार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका देव रूहानी प्यार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार शिव को खुद में समा के तुम हम सब को करते रहे भरपूर शिव को खुद में समा के तुम हम सब को करते रहे भरपूर साकार रूप को छोड़ के तुम क्यों चले गए हम सब से दूर चले गए हम सब से दूर तुम बिन अब संगम है अधूरा तुम बिन अब संगम है अधूरा कहती है हर अश्रुधार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका दिव्य रूहानी प्यार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका दिव्य रूहानी प्यार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार बाबा ने लगाया हमको गले दादे जी आपके द्वारा है तेरे बिन तो सब कुछ खत्म हुआ कह भीगा दिल ये हमारा है बाबा ने लगाया हमको गले दादे जी आपके द्वारा है तेरे बिन तो सब कुछ खत्म हुआ कहे भीगा दिल ये हमारा है कहे भीगा दिल ये हमारा है अलविदा आपका दादी जी नहीं करता है ये मन स्वीकार अलविदा आपका दादी जी नहीं करता है ये मन स्वीकार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका दिव्य रूहानी प्यार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका दिव्य रूहानी प्यार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार तुम दौलत हो हम सब की दादी तुम ही तो दिलो जान हो बर्दाश्त नहीं तेरा जाना हम सब की आप मुस्कान हो हम सब की आप मुस्कान हो भावुक नैना झर झर बर से भावुक नैना झर झर बरसे गए आज हम जैसे हार 
कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका दिव्य रूहानी प्यार कभी भूल ना पाएंगे हम आपका दिव्य रूहानी प्यार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार ओ प्यारे दादे गुलजार ओ मीठे दादे गुलजार Shall I start up, sister? Yes, you can. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Shiv Baba and Divine Family. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to read today's Murli. I shall start with the reading. Yeah. Today's Muli is dated 18 January 2008. The title of the Muli is Be Truly Loving, Give All Your Burdens to the Father, Experience Pleasure and Become Liberated from Labor. Today, Baba has focused on how we can Reduce all our burden with Baba's love and experience the pleasure at this confluence age and also become liberated from labor, laborless uh, intoxication in love of Shu Baba. Today, Bab Dada is seeing the gathering of his carefree emperor everywhere. Such a huge gathering of emperors only takes place at this time of the Confluence age. Even in heaven, there will not be such a huge gathering of emperors. Nevertheless, Bab Dada is now pleased on seeing the gathering of all the emperors at this time. Even those who are far away are visible as close to the heart. All of you are merged in Baba's eyes and those children are merged in the heart. It is such a beautiful gathering. On this special day, the sparkle of the awareness of the awit stage is visible on everyone's face. The remembrance of Father Brahma is merged in everyone's heart. Both Adidev Father Brahma and Father Shiva are very pleased on seeing all the children. Today from 2 a.m., there were many different types of garlands around Bab Dada's neck. Flower garlands are common. Diamond necklaces are also not a big deal. But the necklaces of the invaluable pearls of love are extremely elevated. In the heart of every child on this day, love especially emerged. Four different types of garland emerged in front of Baba. Now, here Baba is addressing us as garlands of love. So, the first number garland was of the elevated children who are making elevated efforts to become equal to the father. The children were garlanded around the father's neck in the form of a garland. The first garland was the smallest of all. The second garland was of the children who are making effort with love to become close and equal. The first number was of elevated effort makers and these are just effort makers. The third garland which was longer was of the loving children 
who are the companions in the father's service. However, they are sometimes intense effort makers and sometimes they are those who have to face storms to a greater extent. However, those who have a desire have the good desire to become complete. The fourth garland was of those who were complaining. They made the garland of the different types of children in the form of faces of the awake angels. Seeing the different garlands, Babdada became pleased and at the same time also gave love and sakar. The Babdada is so uh, big hearted. He gives sakash and love to all type of garlands. Now, all of you should think about, who am I? However, out of all the children everywhere, the special thought that emerged in the heart was, now I definitely have to do something. The majority of you have this zeal and enthusiasm in the form of thought. In the practical form, you are number wise, but you do have it in your thoughts. Yes, we all have this thought that some day or the other, we should definitely have to do something, give our best. Today, seeing all the children, Babdada is giving special blessings from the heart and greetings from the heart on this day of love, on the day of remembrance, on the day of power. Because today is a special day of love. The majority of you are lost in love. In the same way, first effort to always remain lost in love, remain merged in love. So the easy method is love, love from the heart. It is love together with the awareness of the father's introduction. It is love filled with love for the attainment received from the father. Love is a very easy method because loving souls are saved from having to labor. Because of being merged in love, because of being lost in love, you will experience any type of labor in the form of entertainment. Those who are loving automatically remain beyond the consciousness of the body, beyond the attention of the relations of the body, and beyond the attention of the bodily world. They automatically remain merged in love. Love of the heart gives them the experience of closeness to the father, the company of the father, and of being equal to him. Loving souls always consider themselves to be worthy of the father's blessing. Baba has given an elaborate expression about how love towards father will uh, relieve us from the labor and how we can forget all our consciousness of the body, attention towards our relations, and we can go beyond this material world and be one with the father. So, love easily makes the impossible possible. They always experience the father's hand of cooperation and love on the head and the forehead. They have faith in the intellect and remain carefree. All of you children, from the beginning of the establishment, and the experience in the beginning period. Even the children who were instruments for the beginning of service had the experience of beginning how all of you children had so much intoxication of love with the awareness of having found the father. Yes, even I too found it a very deep experience when I read the first lesson of Baba. So that intoxication is long-lasting intoxication of love towards Baba. So you receive knowledge later on, yes. But the first intoxication is of being lost in love. This is the true love towards Baba. Beyond all the love what we experience in this material world. 
So the father is the ocean of love. So from the beginning, the majority of children are lost in the ocean of love. In terms of the speed of effort, you made effort with a very good speed. Some, however, some children become lost in the ocean of love, whereas others simply take a dip and come out again. This is why the children who remain lost in love find that it takes very little effort, whereas others don't have the same experience. They remain in the experience of both, sometimes effort and sometimes love. But those who remain lost in love always experience themselves to be under the canopy of protection. Children who have love in their heart change labor into love. This is a tactic, what Baba says. You merge in love and you will be uh, away from the labor. You will, you will forget itself. In front of Baba, uh, in front of them, situations as big as a mountain are experienced as cotton wool, not a mountain. Even stones are experienced to be like water. Today, all of you especially, stayed in the atmosphere of love, did you experience it to be labor or was it entertainment? Today, all of you experience love, did you not? Were you lost in love? All of you were lost in love. Today, did you experience any form of labor? Did you experience labor in any situation? Did you have any thought of what, why, and, or how? These questions usually come up to our mind for a second. Love makes you forget everything. So Bab Dada says, none of you must forget Bab Dada's love. You have found the ocean of love. Move along in those waves as much as you want. Whenever you experience any type of labor, because Maya will test you in between. At that time, remember your experience of that love and labor will change into love. Try it and see. Baba is testing us. Take a test and try. What happens is that the mistake you make at, this, at that time is that you go too much into what, why. Something that has come will always go away. But how will it go away? Again, Baba is questioning. By your remembering love, labor will disappear. The very moment we forget, the very moment we have to switch on. So that labor will disappear. Because all of you have the experience of the love of both Bab and Dada at different times. We have to recall or reconcile all the love what we have attained from Bab Dada. You have that experience, do you not? You have experienced it at some time, have you not? Okay, you may not experience it all the time, but you have experienced it at some time. Remember that time of what the father's love is. What did you experience with the father's love? Again, Baba is questioning what you experienced. With the awareness of love, labor will change because Bab Dada doesn't like any of the children to have a stage of labor. All children are equal to Baba. My children and they have to labor. So when, when will you become free from labor? It is only at the confluence age that you can become free from labor and simply stay in pleasure all the time. If there isn't pleasure, there is definitely one or another type of burden in your intellect. This is a very important line. The father has told you, hand over your burdens to me. Forget the consciousness of I and become a trustee. Give your responsibilities to the father and you yourself become the true children 
who are honest in your heart as you eat, drink and enjoy yourself because out of all the ages, the compliance age is the age of pleasure. Baba is again in every murli reminding us that this is the confluence age. We have to enjoy ourselves in the love, intoxication of Baba's love. So, if we don't celebrate with pleasure, even at this age of pleasure, when then would you celebrate? Again, Baba is questioning. When Bab Dada sees that children are carrying a burden and laboring a lot, that they are not handling it over, but are carrying it themselves. Then the father would of course feel mercy and compassion. Would he not? Laboring at the time for pleasure. Because lost in love, become lost in love. Remember the times of love. At one time or another, each one of you has definitely experienced love. You definitely experience it. The father knows that you have had that experience, but that you don't remember it. You continue to look at the labor and continue to become confused. If today from Amrit Vela until now, you experience the love of both the authorities of Bap and Dada, then by remembering this day, in front of that love, laboring will end. Now, this year, Bab Dada wants to see every child full of love and remaining free from labor. Baba is stressing on labor, how to reduce the burden of labor, forget the labor. No name or trace of any type of labor should remain in your heart or in your life. Is this possible? Again, Baba is repeatedly questioning us. Is it possible? Those who feel that you definitely have to do this, those who have this courage, raise your hands. On this special day, every child has a special blessing of remaining free from labor. Do you accept it? Yes? Then what will you do if something happens? Will you not say what, why, etc.? Will you? Remember the times of love. Remember those experiences and become lost in those experiences. You have promised this. Baba is reminding the promise which we have given. The father is asking you children a question. Very important. All of you have promised that you will claim the status of liberation in life for 21 births from the father that you will definitely do that. So can there be labor in liberation in life? Out of the 21 births, one birth is that of the confluence age. Not for 20 births. So become free from labor now. That is liberation in life. Carefree emperor. The sanskars of the present time will remain immersed in the soul for 21 births. This is our, uh, what we can say, take away from this 21 births at the end. So you have claimed your inheritance for 21 births. Have you not? Or are you going to claim it now? So attention please. Drawing our attention, Baba is again. Telling us, become free from labor. Remain content and make others content. Don't just remain content. You also have to make others content. Only then you will remain free from labor. Otherwise, every day, one or the other situation of burden or labor will emerge in your language in the form of what? Why? Now you are seeing the closeness of time. Again, Baba is taking us towards the time period. How this confluence is going to come to an end very soon. Just as time is coming close, 
In the same way, the experience of closeness to the father should now increase. Your closeness to the father will bring an end to the closeness of time. Very important. Can all of you children not hear the sound of sorrow and ceaselessness of all souls echoing in your ears? Is the reality every everywhere we are uh, listening to one or the other things happening around us? The crucial time going on. So all of you are ancestors and also worthy of worship souls. Oh, ancestor souls! Oh, worthy of worship souls! When will you complete the task of world benefit? Baba is calling us. Is reminding us how we are going to complete this world. Benefit or the task. Bab Dada has seen the news of how though how those of each of the wings have meetings and making plans about how to increase the speed of world benefit. You make very good plans, but Bab Dada is asking you. Eventually, till when will the Dadis give a response to this? Will the Pandavas reply? Till when? In making plans? Those all of the different wings keep the aim of revealing the Father. However, revelation will take place with a determined promise. Yes. When we promise, we have to uh, attain it. Determination in your promise. Determination sometimes decreases due to some reason or some situation. You make very good promises. If you wait to hear these at Amrut Vela, the father hears them all the time. Science has not yet given you the facility to be able to hear the sound of each one's heart. Even though science has advanced, we are not in the capacity to hear the sound what is going on in another's heart. The father hears it because he is the Almighty soul. The garlands of promises, the things which you have thought of fulfilling are so good that it pleases the heart. Such that Bab Dada says, Wah, children, wah! Should Baba tell you what you do when it is put into action? Up to the stage of reading the Murli, you're fine up to 75%. But when it comes to Karma Yoga, there is a difference in that. Some sanskars, some nature, the nature and sanskars oppose you. So that, instead of a determined promise, it becomes ordinary. The percentage of determination becomes less. Bab Dada smiles on seeing one game that children play. Again, Baba is uh, seeing how the children play. What game is it? Should Baba tell you? Baba will tell you if you are going to finish that game. Will you do that? Will you? Today you have the power of love. Do you not? So will you do this? Raise your hand. Do not just raise your hand. Raise the hand of your heart. You will then definitely have to do it. Then Baba Dada will do something. Should Baba Dada tell you, Baba tell you, Pandava, speak. Should Baba tell you, those sitting in the first row, speak. You will then have to do it practically. Should Baba tell you, if it is yes, then those in the first row, raise your hand. Those sitting in the front two rows, raise your hand. Even those from the Madhuban, raise your hand. It is the hand of your heart, is it not? Acha. Bab Dada feels mercy when he sees these games. He doesn't enjoy it because Bab Dada sees that the children are very clever in putting the blame of everything of them onto others in every situation. What game do you play to make up stories? You think you're seeing anyway? Who is seeing anyway? Sorry. I know and my heart knows. The father is sitting in the supreme abode and in the subtle region. If you tell someone, you mustn't do this. Do you know what games that one plays? Yes, it has happened. But 
he definitely says but but what it was like that that one did that it happened like that and that was why it happened ye sab hamare bahane hain it wouldn't do that i wouldn't do that but it was because it happened like that that one did that and that that was why i did this otherwise i wouldn't have done it so what is this ujre hmm? baba it means a lack of your own realization okay for instance someone did something and that is why you did it that is very good that one was the first number and you were the second number that is fine bab dada accept that too you are not the first number you are the second number however is it okay if you think that you will be fine with the if the first number person transforms himself at that time you think this do you not okay for instance that person who is the first number does transform himself and bab dada tells all the others who are the first number that it is their mistake and that they have to change themselves that is fine okay if the first number person transform himself who got the first number you will not receive the first number will you you will not have the first number in the power of transformation you give that one the first number and so what is your number a piche pad jayenge is it the second number is it not if you are told that you are the second number would you agree would you you will not say i was like that it was like that this type of language used a lot in the games now finish the games of this like like this like that how and etc and think i have to transform myself and the lining point i should transform myself and transform others however if you are not able to transform others then you can at least have good wishes and pure feelings for them this is something that personally belongs to you is it not so i have to become arjuna the one who takes the initiative is it you or the second number person who is going to come close to lakshmi and narayan the ones who have right to the first kingdom of the world this is our testing point this year bab dada has hopes in all brahmin souls brahma kumars and kumaris when you come here you put on a badge all of you put on a badge do you not even when you come here you receive a badge do you not whether it is of paper gold or silver just as you put on a badge in the same way put a badge in your heart and in your mind very nice i have to transform myself i have to become an instrument in the task of transformation like father brahma i first you may remain behind in other matters in wasteful matters but in transformation let it be i first is that okay do you agree so tomorrow at amrit vela bab dada will see it doesn't take bab dada long as soon as he puts on the switch he can see the whole world so tomorrow at amrut vela all of you will celebrate a meeting with the father will you not so while celebrating a meeting put on this badge we will see who applies the badge in a practical way not just like that not just for superficial show but you have to transform yourself you have that determination do you not you have determination all of you raise your hand hmm? all of you raise your hand and so bab dada feels a little 
I don't know whether they will do this or not. But it is at least good that you raise your hand. And so the thought of one second is also good. However, you definitely have to put into practice. I have to change. I have to change and change others too. Not. This should change. This situation should change. This person should change. These circumstances, circumstances should change. No, I have to change myself. Situations will come and you're going high up and at high places and the, the problems would also be elevated. Would they not? However, just as today there was an atmosphere of the awareness of love number wise according to your capacity. In the same way, always keep in your mind the atmosphere emerged of remaining constantly absorbed in love. Bab Dada receives very good news, even in the thought form, they are very good. But in putting them into the practical form, you become according to capacity. Now, for two minutes, all of you become stable in God's love. I think I would stop here. We also, uh, all of you become stable in God's love and the stage of the spiritual pleasure of the Confluence age. Acha. We shall take a pause of few seconds and then we'll start a churning of the Murli points. Is it okay? Okay, shall we start the churning of today's Murli? <clears throat> Shanti. Good morning, everyone. Uh, very nice, Murli, and very well rendered. Uh, I like the point where Baba has said today, hand over the burdens to me, forget the con consciousness of I, and become trusty. Om Shanti. Very nice. Om Shanti, very good yeah. morning. Ji, or heartfelt, uh, sincere gratitude, first of all, to Dadi Guljarma. It's her first accession day. And today she became angel and flew to the subtle regions. And today is going to be very, very empowering day. Whole day live uh, transmissions from Madhuban, we can all watch. And we have to be in a big stage. So hand over everything like sister shared, that's mine also. Ki hand over everything mine and there, should, there shouldn't be any trace of I to Baba. And sincere uh, congratulations to sister Sajata. Uh, she, uh, you know, read Murli and on such a precious, beautiful day, she got this opportunity. So I felt very good and Om Shanti to everyone. Thank you. This is the thanks a lot. Anybody else? What? Om Shanti, sister. Um, beautiful Murli. Thank you, Baba. Uh, I like the line uh, which especially it says when you are totally intoxicated with love, then even the mountain seems like cotton wool and even the stone becomes like water. So the love vibrations can be so powerful that you can see any small disturbance also which appears like a stone or a mountain dissolving and Baba's light shining on that. And I really uh, like that 
small example, which is a very practical way to relate to it in your normal life. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Um, today Baba said that you have uh, been given the experience of uh, uh, the chance of experiencing liberation in life for 21 births. So not only for 20 births. So you have to consider this, con uh, this birth of confluence age as one of those births and uh, start remaining in that stage or uh, and experience that uh, liberation in life. Also, Baba said that the in the way, same way you wear the badge in front of Baba or any function. So similarly, you have to uh, wear a badge in your heart that you will transform yourself, not you will blame others or any situation for anything what which happens, but you have to take the responsibility on yourself and uh, transform yourself first, and then you will be able to transform the world. Om Shanti. Baba gives us guidelines. Yeah, even I want to express yesterday, Baba taught us to have that dance, super sensuous dance in mind, mind dance, and today a batch in the heart. So thank yeah. you, Baba. Such wonderful, subtle ways of sustenance. It makes us so empowered. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Baba is also told that um, now, the, the Murli says that uh, love towards father makes labor effortless, love makes impossible possible, and love makes you forget everything. So love with your heart, love, love I'm sorry, Om Shanti. Since we have the bhakti sanskar, so we had this in our mind that, uh, you know, I'm not good, I'm not enough, I'm not doing well, I could have done this, I could have done that. So when Baba says that emerging in love, so first I felt that it is it comes with self-appreciation and the first self-appreciation that I'm special, definitely I have something so that is why Baba has chosen me. That is the first, uh, I mean, starting the, starting the journey of love with the self and with the Baba. And without it, I felt that no self-transformation can happen. Because we have this unscar of 63 births that, no, 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 I'm not good enough. I could have done it like this. Uh, it, it is my mistake. There is kind of a blame game that goes on inside our mind. And sometimes we cannot even understood that. We cannot even interpret it in that way that how much I am, you know, um, blaming myself, maybe unknowingly also. So consciously we should love ourselves based on Baba's knowledge, not based on any superficial thing, because in world also the self-love workshops are going on. But Baba says that who has chosen you, who has given you this opportunity to be happy, to remain, to remain in happiness and contentment always with Baba. Whatever is in my mind, whatever burden I have, with my heart open, I can give it to Baba that Baba, this, 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 this thing is happening. This is coming into my mind. This is, I feel that is troublesome. I feel this circumstances is no, is a barrier. You tell me what to do. So, like a child, we have to surrender ourselves to Baba, and then the self-love can start. And then loving for God also can be emerged. That is what is my uh, takeaway from all these points uh, beautifully churned by all the souls and uh, from beautiful Murli. Thank you, sister. A very good morning to all of you. Om, 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 Om Shanti. Uh, uh, very good morning to all of you. And uh, uh, one point I like, Baba said that Baba is the ocean of love and he's always... Uh, this is really true. 
he bring us to deep and deep in, in this ocean and make you fall om shanti thank you thank you bob anybody else want to share the points om shanti today baba said that whenever there is a time to change or trying to transform yourself always be arjuna so first take yourself initiative from your side that i am going to change whatever the situation might be so i have to change i have to become an instrument so i should be first in every task in transformation om shanti om shanti om shanti carry on sister carry on yeah om shanti just uh, what the brother just said you know that uh, nice line in the modli about baba being the ocean of love and along with that baba is also saying and when you have the test of this love in your life when maya will come and test you in the will hint at that time uh, remember the experience of so that you can overcome that maya's test and i find that very useful because even in your daily life i have noticed with one human being to another if you have experienced true love with each other and when there is a problem or a distress the period where there was true experience of love you overcome that disturbance so i think he gave a very nice message through that even in your day to day life which we can practice om shanti om shanti i just want to share one of my experience like you know before coming to this university um like we are in a family you know and we do have so many problems and the children's examinations uh, husbands promotions and everything every time go go have your bath go sit in front of god bhagwan god the today is my testing day today is my son's examination please be with him please be there i would tell him but still the whole day i would be uh, intense until i would get the result but what a change what a drastic change after coming to this university um as baba said hand over the burdens to me all this uh, for the past uh, few months my uh, son was repeatedly having uh, as i told test one up to the other uh, giving interviews to all the companies in the night i would just tell baba see today tomorrow my son is having exam i leave the burden uh, on you and i just am sleeping peacefully that was that is what i do nowadays and it gives me a good sleep and i leave everything on him and he gives me a successful result om shanti sister in addition to this you can always say never ever say my son say baba's your child your precious child your son whatever if we put that energy you know we do minus our any kind of belongingness and we hand over to baba we make baba feel that the child is very specially yours is very precious of yours so whatever then will will be you know more with baba and more beautiful energy om shanti okay thank you very much sister thank you for enlightening me taking on to what anshu ben just mentioned uh i would like to just share one experience um when we say in in any relationship conflicts also this has been my experience that once there was a conflict in which there was no conversation that was happening completely out of talking mode with a friend and had only surrendered the relationship telling baba this relationship is given by you this soul in my life is your gift if you you now you can let me know what you want me to do with this the whole scenario turned around in few months and the relationship went to an elevated level and it's today also at an elevated level 
So what Anshu Ben said, you know, once you hand over everything, it's not mine, but Baba, it's yours. Whatever is there, right for us, Baba takes it on from there. Om Shanti. Yes, anybody want to share? Om Shanti. Uh, one thing I want to share, say that this law, Miss Baba's law, and Miss any Miss this makes stone into a water. So this is a very good message um, that uh, any suppose any anybody has uh, having, having the stone. So if he is meditate that, so it's converted into water. So that's the pain will be gone. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Can we continue for sharing, sister? Or shall we move for meditation? If everybody is done with their sharings, then we can move towards meditation. Okay. So moving on to the meditations, Ben, would you uh, announce uh, the Sunday session? Yeah, sister. Uh, there is a, a small announcement uh, regarding Sunday's Murli Mantan session on 13 March. 2022. Uh, in this session, we need to prepare ourselves for all the murlis uh, which have been uh, throughout this week. We should go deep into the murli points and uh, which the points touch the heart, especially the um, theme of lamp and light, which we experience. Underlining point about lamp and light regarding lamp and light, what we have experienced that touched the heart, we can share in this Murli Mantan session, which is going to commence on Sunday at 5.30 a.m. Is it okay, sister? Could you please elaborate, sister Raki, what is this about lamp and light? Just in one second, if you could make it more clear, please, sister Sujata. Sure. So, Anshuven, the brother who is going to be conducting this mantan session, is requested that we go through all those three murlis that we are reading in this week, which is murli dated 15th December 2007, 31st December 2007, and today is 18th January 2008 murli. Now, most of these murlis have brought across points in as lamp and light. Now the focus of this mantan session is going to be looking at bringing those points. So what he's requested is if souls who are attending this session can underline those points from the murli, which brings across focus on lamp and light. And there are those last two murlis had it and today if we look at it, how can love make us light? Yeah, just to bring a context to it. So an yeah. experience uh, that we can have with all these three murlis underlining those points is what he's requested if that's possible. Perfect, sister. Who is the brother who's going to conduct it? Arif Bhai is conducting from... Thank you, sister. Thanks a ton. Wonderful. Thank you. So then we can move on to uh, meditation. Yeah. Just play the music, silent music. I'll be, uh, re uh, let us reflect on the swamans of today's Murli in this meditation session. Thank you. 
Children of the Lamb of God. A lucky soul to be under the canopy of Baba's protection. I am a trusty soul to stay to the peace of the Father. All of legendary souls. Consciousness of soul and father in a serving of world transformation, world and transformation, content ourselves and then make others content. Baba is always with us in our situations we face. All our burdens, the mass, and be by the Lord. Thank you, Baba. Shanti. Thank you, Sujata Ben. Thank you, all of you. See you tomorrow at 5 30 a.m. Thank Have you. Have a sister. nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. To all.